Did you know there is a dog that is so good at her job that people want her dead? This is Sombra. She is the drug sniffing dog that works at an airport, and she has been uh, she's busted over 245 suspects as stated by CNN for drugs. That's why Colombian drug lords want her dead and have a seventy thousand dollar bounty to kill her. Not er, Sombra is one of many dogs with many tasks, but dogs are not only used for drug sniffing. Dogs are also used for various other tasks. Dogs have various jobs, such as police dogs, military dogs, and service dogs. One of many important roles dogs have are military dogs. Uh, military dogs require a lot of training. This training can be very pricey and requires a lot of time. This training requires around twenty to forty thousand dollars, as stated by how stuff works. There is no set time for how much military dogs need training because they usually require more training than regular than other dogs. Military dogs are constantly in training. It's, or like I said before, there is no set time, but handlers are required four hours a week with their service dog. Tasks, they help various soldiers in various ways. They're trained to not bark because that could help disrupt a soldier and give away the position. Uh, they also help protect them by helping, or by, if someone's aggressive towards them, they help take them down or just help them get someone but dog uh, but military dogs are not the only dogs that play an important role uh, service dogs are also a big role in society uh, what are service dogs and what do they do service dogs help people with disabilities or just people who need help they have various tasks and help them with their day-to-day -day life these tasks can vary from grabbing something off a hook all the way to uh, calming someone down with PTSD the training uh, service dogs needs, they can start whenever, and any dog can be a service dog. Uh, usually this training takes months to years, and uh, it requires up to $25,000 invested into it. There are several breeds that can be service dogs. They're, this ranges from German, German Shepherds, Mastiffs, even Chihuahuas. But it is stated by CNN that Retrievers are born for service dogs. Last, or that's a service dog right there. Last but not least, police dogs. Police dogs play an important role in society today. What they do, police dogs locate drugs by sniffing them out. They help crack down on the use and distribution of drugs, but they don't only sniff out drugs. Police dogs also sniff out people who are lost and or been kidnapped. Uh, apprehending someone, if someone's being aggressive towards a cop, the dog can apprehend that person. This is either by command or by natural instinct, and they are trained to do so. Uh, it is stated by the American Kennel Club that the canine will always put its life before their commander. Uh, also, service dogs are uh, into, or, or train, police dogs are supposed to be intimidating by their looks and stuff. So, um, usually, if someone sees a canine, they'll start to become more passive because the dog scares them. Uh, what goes into training? Only certain specific and or specific breeds are used for police dogs. Uh, this is big, scary, and intimidating dogs that are used. So, for example, a German Shepherd is a common police dog. That's because they're big, scary, and intimidating, whereas a Chihuahua is not really big and scary or intimidating. Uh, training the dog requires. Uh, once selected, the dog requires several weeks of training. They're uh, trained to do several things such as drink or sm sniff drugs, people, and apprehend people. Uh, they're constantly being trained so they don't lack in the everyday skills that they need. And in conclusion, you now know the various uses of dogs and how they're used today. You can also see how they're very effective to your everyday life. Uh, and as you can tell, Sombra is very good at her job because they have a $70,000 these dogs are required for everyday tasks.